guys. So Rob and I just got done snook fishing in the inlet. It didn't exactly go as planned. We were hoping to catch a huge one, but we didn't. But we still had fun. And now Rob just left and told me he was going to pick up some scallops. So I have no clue what he's going to do with them. But every dish Rob makes is like absolutely amazing. So I'm going to hang out here, quick unload, and by the time he gets back, we'll be ready to go. Okay, everybody, Tasty Tuesday number 24. This, this video is for all my bros out there in YouTube land that want to make a huge impact on the females in their lives after a long day of hunting or fishing. Well, Sarah and I, as she said earlier, you know, we've been out in the inlet fishing. It went nuts. I mean, right off the bat, she caught a really nice one. When it came up to the boat, it had a ton of, like, males trying to spawn with it. Then these guys, like, basically launched their boat up onto the rocks. That got crazy. And at the end of the day, I missed several big ones. And it was cool. We had a good time. We just didn't catch any of the really big ones that we wanted to. But just real quick, I want you guys to know what's going on in Jupiter Inlet. Check this out. This was the other day I had Paul and um, and Daniel Ford out. I jumped in the water, and look how many amazing snook are in the Jupiter Inlet. This is just such a testament to the conservation efforts by CCA, um, the FWC, and all the local anglers that abide by the laws and release these fish and handle them properly. Here we are in the good old famous Roberto and Sarah's kitchen. This is a super easy dish. I've been working all day, then we fished in the afternoon. I mean, it's like nine o'clock at night, 9.30 at night. The oven is preheated to 350. This is a this is a rice dish anyone can make. Even you guys out there that are like 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, that all hang out and watch our videos and love it, you guys can do this. I don't even have to stand up. I'm gonna start off four little pats of butter. I can just throw it in there just like that. Boom, right on the bottom, okay? This is shredded coconut, okay? I'm gonna put a little shredded coconut right on the bottom, just like that, not a ton, not a ton, just about that much. There is one cup of beautiful broth. Yeah, this is Thai ginger broth, okay? That's that right there, Swanson's Thai ginger. Flavor infused broth. Can you hear that? That's that that noise. That's Tebow throwing a deer antler on the ground to make noise. And now he's like hiding his head. He's like, that wasn't me. No way, that wasn't me. But uh, anyway, then once that's out of there, you guys um, take this is Uncle Ben's whole grain rice. You want about a half a cup. Some of it's gonna stick to there, so you want just a hair more. Not like that. Just like that. Take a knife or a spoon, whatever. Just like that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Now you're gonna take just a little bit more coconut. Now we are making Thai ginger coconut rice. Now, I'm all fishy, I'm nasty. Look at that, I got scales all over my feet. The oven is set at 350. I vote you put a little more coconut in there. Nope, okay. no more, that's perfect. Just throw it in there, you don't have to cover it, nothing. Now we're gonna set that. Uh, we want a kitchen timer, we're gonna go, wait, we're gonna go 40 minutes. Start. 40 minutes, that's gonna be done. Now, here's our scallops. You could do this with fish, shrimp, lobster, whatever, I don't care. Get you some good old original Everglades seasoned up, okay? Season them up. I do this ahead of time just so it has time to sit in the sauce. I just want it to sit there and just fall in love. A little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're just gonna let it sit there, okay? It's seasoned up nicely. I can put all this away, which that just requires setting in the refrigerator. Now, this is the deal, you guys. I guarantee you, I promise you, hit thumbs up if I'm telling the truth. You come home from a fishing trip or a hunting trip, whatever. First thing your woman does, typically, runs into the, bad, into the bedroom, takes off all the clothes, takes a shower, gets cleaned up. If you can do this, in the time that she does that, I'm talking, already have it in your head what you're gonna do because it's a special night. As soon as she jets into the bathroom, bam, throw it together. You got your broth, a little bit of coconut, the rice, some butter, in the oven. You know 40 minutes later, that's about how long it takes them, typically, you know, unless it's a big date, then it's an hour and 40 minutes. Once they get done, they come out, saute a little bit of scallops. I mean, you can get the, I bought these frozen at Publix just a little while ago. <clears throat> Thawed them out, saute them. By the time she comes out, she's like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? You don't have to go to a restaurant. I mean, you can do this in your kitchen in no time. And she's gonna have a little smile on her face. When mama is happy, everyone's happy. I'm just saying, so it's time to go take a shower. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, we are back. Guess what, I'm all cleaned up. I don't stink, I got clean clothes on. And the timer actually just went off, so I killed the I killed the oven. Now I want y'all to see this real quick. Actually, I'm gonna turn this on too. This is our saute pan. Just get it on high. I want it to start getting hot. But I want you guys to see this. Woo! That rice. Forty minutes of love right there. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh yeah. There's our. Um, Sea scalps. <laughs> scalps. Obviously, my brain is not working quite properly. Uh -huh. no. I also want me a little glass of this is William Hill Chardonnay. It's like 12 bucks a bottle. I'm gonna open it real quick. While he's opening that, I obviously cleaned up too. But um, I want y'all to know that Rob literally wakes up early morning, works all day at his job. He's a boat captain, so he's doing 50 million things. Then he comes home, goes fishing to film cooks so that you guys have a video yet like Rob is crazy busy so I hope you all know that like he doesn't sleep as much as he needs to I can't believe he's not sick I don't have time to get sick oh, I gotta... Ooh, smell that. scallops cook fast okay I've got some lemons here. I'm just gonna zest a couple lemons. A little colander. Put some lemon juice right in there. And if you if you just put it right here in the colander like that, it'll it'll sift all your all your um seeds out. Oh yeah. Open your scallops. How do you do when they cook? When they're not yeah, you clear? Don't, yeah. You cut them in half and they, you know, they're white all the way through, you know they're done. Now, if you're wondering, some people say scallops come from the wings of rays. That might be true in certain circumstances, but I've never actually seen that. Scallops come from a little shellfish, they're like, and um, they're caught, the, the largest percentage of them caught in the United States is caught in New Bedford, Massachusetts. That's where you get a lot of big sea scallops like that. Now you can get bay scallops all over the place, but these sea scallops come from New Bedford, Massachusetts. You guys are doing a good job up there, thanks. And silver stag, see that? That's one of our deer meat for dinner knives. I want to say thank you to everybody who has ordered a silver stag knife. This was our best month yet. Brad Smith, if you're watching, thank you so much for all your support. We love you guys. And uh, thank you so much for, for buying your silver stag knife. It means a lot. If you're looking for a silver stag knife, go to silverstag.com and then look for the deer meat for dinner line. It's under the specials. Yeah, it's under specials.
look perfect. You don't want to overcook them. You overcook them, they're going to be rubbery and chewy. Those look great, so we're just going to put them right here. Oh yeah. Just like that. Set them right in here. Okay, now we've got Chardonnay. Get a little bit of Chardonnay in there. I'm gonna get some lemon juice in here. Any of that? Okay, so all we've got all we've got, white wine and lemon juice. Now, to stick with our, our theme tonight, I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut. We're gonna make a nice little sauce. Good. Oh, did you shut that off? Okay, so you can see that our sauce is still very, very, um. There's a lot of fluid there, so I want it to boil down. The more it boils, the water will come out and it will thicken. it. That's called reducing. Sorry about that, y'all. My rice is done. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice, fluffy, beautiful rice. My sauce is nice. It's got like a nice velvet texture. That's all you gotta do to make this dish. Bed of rice, just like that. Spoon out. Good, good. Now, last but not least, now you see how velvety, see how velvety that sauce is? A little bit of that on top of there. A little bit of that on top of there. Voila. Whole grain rice, coconut rice, the sauteed, actually I don't even know if you would call it sauteed scallops with a white wine, lemon butter sauce. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. Hey Mar, we're about to say the blessing. Stop growling. Alright, dear Lord, I thank you so much for this day and thank you for keeping us safe out in the inlet. Thank you for letting us catch a bunch of fish and enjoy this. Or thank you so much for this food and for this great time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. It smells amazing. That's so good. It's funny that you mix so many flavors because you can taste each one. Like the lemon, the coconut, obviously the scallop. And they're cooked perfectly. Mm. Very good. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. That's what it's all about. And I mean, if you guys are watching this, heck, it's 10 times harder when you're trying to film it. You're trying to, if I would have just came home and whipped up this meal, I could have did this with my eyes closed. And I'm sure so, you know, so can you guys. I told you at the beginning of the video the rice was going to take 40 minutes. Maybe go 50 minutes. Maybe go 50 minutes. It's gonna come out perfect. It's super easy. Anyone can do this. That lemon was the key, I think. Yeah, and every bite, you're feeling the, the different flavors come out. Like you, you bite it, you feel some of the some of the coconut, then you get some of the lemon. You can taste the white wine and the sauce. 
It's not like Orpari. Mm -hmm. And this is after an incredibly long day. So it's just a good time. Thanks so much for being a part of it, hanging out with us, and um, being a part of our channel. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Thumbs oh, up. It's alright. I've been in Wisconsin the last two weeks, so I left Rob stranded. That's why. I'm sorry. It's okay. She's up visiting her family. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're winding down. Yep. We're getting quiet. <laughs> and I still have to go cut this video tonight, so it'll be a long night. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. <laughs>